so we are back with another booty video. I know recently we just did another one and this is like a very popular thing. Of course, all the girls want to have nice curves, uh, nice curves. So um, it's kind of a leg workout and booty oriented. So I'm going to go through some circuits. Now it doesn't have to be done exactly like this. I always say do uh, a rep range. I don't give a rep count. And then these are just weights that I set up. They don't have to be weights that you're going to use. Uh, you could use heavier, lighter, whatever you want to do. Just something where you could do good form and I'm going to demonstrate good form. Um, and then I talked about this in the last video, but just in case if you didn't see it, I love these bands. There are actually, there's a green and a blue. There's all these different levels uh, and an orange. So they're by uh, Nebu Fit. So it's www.neeboofit.com. $14 for like six of them on Amazon. So um, the first thing that I'm going to do is go over the first circuit. Now I'm really, really OCD when it comes to when I'm training. So whenever I do uh, bilateral stuff, so stuff that's like double leg, it stays double leg. Whenever I do unilateral stuff that's single, I always stick to single for that circuit. So I'm going to explain. When I'm going to start with a bench lunge, so or a Bulgarian split squat, and I'm going to have the barbell on my back. I'm going to have my back foot on the bench. When you have your back foot elevated, so if you see, my back foot is going to be elevated, this glute will activate more, okay? When you have the front foot on, it'll be more quad-based exercise. So we're going to do back leg. So I'm going to take this barbell, I'm going to clean it, put it on my shoulders. Okay, now these are bumper plates. Don't get it twisted. That is not a 25-pound barbell. I am not even trying to front like it is. Uh, this is a 25-pound plate. Sorry, I said barbell. So you're going to make sure that you have good position. Most of you will end up doing this in a squat rack. So anytime you're balancing, you always want to pick a focal point. So you stare at that focal point. If there's a lot of people moving around you or if there's a mirror in front of you, don't look at it. Look at that focal point and then find your bench behind you. Make sure you're in the right position, and then nice lunge. See my uh, ankle touch the bench, so I'll hop forward a little bit. So I always stay themed, as I mentioned. So I'm just gonna do a few reps of each exercise. So I go right leg, 15, 20 reps. Then I go left leg, 15, 20 reps. Then I superset it with dumbbells. So instead of the weight being up top, the weight is leaning forward. Go back, same thing. So you go down, you'll feel it a little bit more in the hamstrings of the front leg. So I go 15 or 20 on the right leg, 15 or 20 on the left leg. Then my last thing that I do is I do a plyo. So I do no dumbbells. Go back to this leg, now I'm doing everything on this leg, and I do a little bit of a hop. So, so just to get a little dynamic at the end of the set. So everything stays right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg. Run through the circuit three to four times on each side. That is circuit number one. Now, if you saw the last video of mine or if you're on my Facebook or Instagram or anything, you'll see that I'm a huge, huge fan of barbell bridges. So I'm gonna take my clips off and I'm gonna put them on my barbell. And we're gonna do a circuit of barbell bridges supersetted with sumo squats. So, you see my bench, I think the first circuit that I did, I did on a bench. I've had people, so this is a 45 pound plate. I've had people, even some of my clients, that I'll give them stuff to do on their own on their other days, um, coaching clients of mine, they'll, they have a hard time. If they're not up to a 45 pound plate, they're not you, they don't have access to bumper plates, which are bigger. So maybe they would normally start out with a 25 on each side. It's gonna be really hard to get under the 25. So it's very easy, you sit and you roll the barbell on top of you. So if you start with a 45, that's super simple. I always say get one of these pads or get a mat and even this. I'm also a big fan of doing it on a very low bench. At the gym, they have the small plyo boxes. The higher the bench is, the harder it is to get on top of it. Then, um, I always say to uh, roll it on top of you and double pad it and get yourself here. Then, I'm also a fan of doing it barefoot. I feel more grounded 
And I feel like that extra elevation from a sneaker will kind of take away from my strength. I've noticed that I've gone very, very heavy when I used to go super, super heavy, like almost close to 600 pounds. Uh, I would never have been able to get up part of that weight if I had my sneakers on. So I'm using my son's little step bench. So I'm going to lean back. I would technically be able to even put my head back further, but I'm going to pull my legs in and you can pull, pull, pull. Get myself back so that my shoulder blades are on the back of my shoulder blades. I shouldn't have to. I should have to hold on to the barbell. I shouldn't have to hold on to the bench and my elbow shouldn't be on the bench. So even if it was a long bench and I lift up, my hands are here. You're not using your hands, so you shouldn't be like this on the barbell. You should be like this. It should be right below your hip bend right here. You're holding it here. You drop down and then drop down. And as you're squeezing, and I'm all about the thought process, as you're squeezing, you're thinking about that your cheeks, not these, these are picking up a million dollar bill. Your butt doesn't touch. The, you didn't hear the plates touching, so you want to get as big of a range of motion as you can without it touching, and then squeeze and hold it up. I always say hold it for like that one to two seconds. So this one, 15 to 20 rep range. I superset this, or I will superset this with sumos. So I'm going to show you a front guide, and then I'm also going to show you a side. So sumo squats, you could do with a barbell. So you could do it here. And if you're going to do a sumo squat, you would hold on to it this way, so that's going to be a sumo squat. So you could do them with the barbell. I like to do them with the dumbbell. When I do them with the dumbbell, and it all depends on how tall you are, if you are shorter and you have shorter legs, you should stand on something. So you could even set up a couple plates and stand on the plates so you can get a nice range of motion, and I'll show you a side view. But this is a front view. You want to make sure your knees are going in line with your toes. You hold on to the dumbbell like this, okay? Some people have done it like this, but you can get a way bigger range of motion when you're here. So the thought is, keep the chest up, shh, shh, and you don't really stand all the way up. So if I turn, you keep the tension on the glutes. So you go tap down, squeeze up, and you also think you're squeezing and pulling the legs together, squeeze. Keep the chest up. You touch it up. Touch it up. Notice how I'm still kind of bent over a little bit. I always say training is all about, you have to think. In all my programs, if you don't know how to squeeze a bicep, if you're doing a bicep curl, you might not work it as much. So when you're thinking about the muscles that you're using, you have to squeeze them and think about them. That is my second circuit. My third circuit I'm going to go over and then I'm going to add in because I love stiff legged -like deadlifts. So alternating track lunges. So I call them track lunges because of the position. Now you can get furniture movies that I don't happen to have here right now with me, but it is very quad and glute based. So I'm going to show you without any weight and then I'm going to show you with the dumbbells. So let's just say I got my dumbbells right here. I want you to think about going on top of this leg. So I'm gonna look at my surroundings. You go down, 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 and then up, up, up. If you keep the focus, you'll feel it on this leg. I'm gonna alternate. So I'm gonna go down, 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 up, up, up. Okay, I grab my dumbbells. So it's not a reverse lunge and I'm driving through my glutes. You could also, also make this one of those exercises where you do all on one side. You'll really feel the burn in your glutes. I like to superset that one with band plie, plyo, jump squats. If you wanted to, you can grab dumbbells, light ones. Like go with like 15s, 12s, 10s, whatever. But put the band here, right above the knees. Super wide plie position here or dumbbells. Let's not break my toe. And you jump. You force yourself to hold your legs out. And that will then engage the glutes when you're opening up the legs. My last and favorite exercise is going to be stiff legged deadlifts. I'm going to show you two different versions of it single leg and double leg. So 
Double leg, I would use much heavier dumbbells. I would use probably both 40s. So I'm going to show you two different ways you do single legs and then the double leg. But when you do the double, chest is up, back is flat. Everybody's range of motion is different. I go to here, my back still stays flat, my chest is up, my butt is back, and I squeeze. Up, squeeze, not squeeze, squeeze my glutes. Okay, that's my double leg. Okay, some people, I have a client that literally back flat touches the ground. I gotta stand her on something. Two ways to do single leg, and I'm gonna do them with both the dumbbells, the twenties. Because I can. Okay. So I will either, and you have to, I talked before about balance, you have to find a focal point. Single leg like this, I suggest staying on the same side, or if you have a hard time balancing, no matter what, because everybody's uh, equilibrium is a little different. So you could also do it this way, putting all the focus on that one glute and one hamstring. So another booty workout for you. Uh, you can mix and match a million of these videos together. I hope you guys like this one. Hope you like some of the tips that I gave you. You guys know we have our own studio. I have a training website. I have a coaching program. All the links are going to be below. Like the video. Comment on it. I always comment back to you guys. But if you're local and you're interested in training, which we have some fantastic news about me being available again. I've been kind of booked in the studio and I'm opening up some availability, but we're going to talk about that in the next video www.agarifitness.com, A-G-U-I-R-R-E-F-I-T-N-E-S-S. Then there's Train with Jen, Train, T-R-A-I-N, W-I-T-H-J-E-N-N dot TV. So we recently had to change the website. And then there is the Coaching with Jen program, um, and that's coachingwithjen.com. Um, so I hope you like the video. Like it, share it with your friends, and I will talk to you in the next video.